Hello all, Trunky Nugget here. Today we're going to be doing something unlike anything I've ever done on my channel. So, recently I've been getting into this Pokemon Showdown website now. Some of you may know, I've been a big Pokemon fan my whole life, but I've never been so great at the building competitive teams and all that, but luckily this Pokemon Showdown website has these random battles where they randomize your teams, and I've been having a lot of fun with these Generation 5 random battles uh, specifically, and I just thought we'd uh, try out a couple on film and see how I do. So we're searching for a battle right now. Um, we're looking for some hype moments, so... You know, we don't always like a good thrashing. We want we want some we want a game that'll keep us on the edge of our seats, but let's see what happens here. So we got an unknown now. What we know about unknown in random battles is there's basically one set and it's the choice specs hidden power psychic set. So we know that this unknown's gonna have hidden power psychic basically, it's gonna be very predictable, uh, basically worthless Pokemon. Should I go for the acrobatics here, or is it even... It's probably not even worth it. Oh, here's what I can do. So I almost take him out in the first shot, then I switch to resist the Psychic. Take minimal damage there, and then I got the Choice Scarf to outspeed. Hmm, what should I go for? Let's go for the Flash Cannon. So one Pokemon down. He's he's a bit unlucky, I must say. He's uh he's starting off with unknown now. We know there's an earthquake coming. Unless he reads my switch. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. Oh boy, this could be rough. But I gotta lay in the bed I've made now. Oh, he might just be dead. All right, man. Poison heal is okay. I see. I see. Not a bad switch. He's whittling me down with the toxic. So I don't think it's worth keeping Landorus in here anymore. But who do I go for? Uh, let's see. Got level T, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. What's that speed though? 172. We're gonna want. Hmm. Let's go for the read read. Alright. Do a bit of damage there. Ooh, he's just going for the heal. Alright, I want to keep Landorus alive. I think this is safe. Dang. Not good. We're gonna want... Yeah, saw that coming. Ooh! Okay, that was lucky. So he's going for the Earthquake again, but he's gonna read the switch. Oh, he's going for the Protect. Okay. Now I know I'm faster than him. It's really good to have a Choice Scarf for alive, so I don't know what to do. If he goes for the Earthquake, I know I'm dead. He knows I'm staying in now. Oh boy. Might have to do this. There we go. There we go. We stayed in for that one extra turn to trick him into thinking we were staying. Uh, decent plan, my part, I gotta say. Okay, he's just gonna sit there and protect for the toxic. Hopefully, I'll be able to take him out with this flying gem acrobatics. Never mind. Good crit there. Very lucky. Alright, so what are we thinking is gonna happen? 
acrobatics. Ooh! Okay. Well, we got a speed tie here. If I win the speed tie, I kill him. Well, that sucks, but uh, he's at 50% health now, at least. His defeatist activated? I'm not sure. Magnezone Scarfed is still slower. But my Tauros is faster. And let's go for a Retaliate. Get him into Fetus range. Or kill him. Okay, not bad. Ooh, now we got a Conkleder. What are we going to do with this? He's going to go for a Fighting type move. I'd say this is safe. I'm not sure what other type of move coverage. Oh, he's going for Sod. Ooh. I'd like to get the Toxic Spikes out, though. Okay, so we got a Guts. Ooh, that's scary. It is good to have... Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I am faster, but he's going to use Protect. I believe I survived the poison? Yeah, there we go. Okay. I think I take him out here. Not bad, Landorus. You did your job. Alright, what next? Man, Taurus is faster than I remember. Okay, we're not going to go for the Retaliate because we got a Choice Band and I don't want to get stuck in it. I'd say Double Edge is the safest choice here. Taking him out with the Double Edge? Okay. Got two Pokemon left. Um, let's just stay in. We're all weak to fighting here now. Ooh, a good amount of damage there. And he will be healing quite a bit. But he is getting hurt by the burn and he's very slow. Both of my Pokemon can outspeed him. What's our best bet here? He's gonna use Mock Punch. Huh. Alright. Let's just go for it. He's gonna use Mock Punch, get a hit on me, but I don't think I'll die. Got a lot of defense. He does have guts though, that's scary. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's not even close. There we go, took him out. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is gonna be close. Oh boy, this is gonna be close. So he's gonna take me out, no question. I knew that was coming, but nothing to be done. And I'm gone. And here's what we're looking at. Uh, it all depends. Can I do enough damage? I'm thinking... I'm thinking no. He's going to protect, he's going to heal up, and then I won't be able to do enough damage. Looks like it's over. But let's see. Ooh! Well, I did say I wanted a close game, and I gotta say, that is one of the closest I have had yet. Not bad. There wasn't too much RNG involved there. Uh, not bad, not bad. I could have played better. I should have kept some Pokemon alive. Like, Landorus probably could have stayed alive a bit longer. But, let's do one more game. Now that I'm all practiced up and everything. Okay, Heracross. Heracross is very scary. He is faster than me. I don't think Swords Dance is safe. I'll go for the Fire Punch. It'll do a good amount of damage, especially in the sun. Even with that switch, it'll still do. Okay. So what's he what's he going for here? I can't think of why he would switch to Dust Clubs. I can't think of a good set. Huh, let's see. 
Let's go for Earthquake. Ah, yes, the burn, of course. Now I am useless. Hmm. What do we got here? Boy, this is going to be a rough team. Alright, let's just keep going for the Earthquakes. Try to take him out. Hmm. Probably could have gone for the Sword Stance, actually. He doesn't have a chest of berry. So he will be sleep talking, I'm guessing. I guess Groudon's sort of worthless now that he's. Okay then, doesn't have sleep talk. I'm not sure what's going on here. But let's go for that earthquake. That should be doing a decent amount of damage now. Ooh. All right, let's just take him out. Nice. Groudon will be alive to see another day, but he's burned. Um, no point in switching him out now. He's already got his attack boost he's set up. Might as well keep him in as long as we can. Unfortunately, Heracross is faster, so I'm just going to die. Here we go. I traded a Groudon for a Dusclops. Incredible. Maybe not my finest moment. Okay, if he doesn't switch out, uh, he's dead. I'm just gonna go for this, because you can't pass up this opportunity. But he did switch out. Still do not the worst amount of damage, I suppose. What can we do here? I am faster, we could go for some flinches. Ooh, I did not expect that. I need to get practiced up, boys. I'm gonna be grinding this all day. I just started playing this, like, yesterday, so... I got a lot to remember. Whew. Okay, okay, okay. I don't even know. Let's go for this. We could, we could set up a stealth rock. Oh! He's stronger than I expected. Looks like this game's already over. Holy. Well, boys, it's not looking good. I'll get the sand stream because I want to get rid of that sun. Stone Edge will do a good amount of damage. Though he's going to use a fighting type move to one-shot me, and I would rather him one-shot mine in, to be honest. Not even one-shot, nice. Okay, and now I'm faster than him, so I may be able to take him out with the Thunderbolt. Okay, so he's scarfed. Should have seen that coming. Huh. Well, this is... At least Gigalith is sturdy, but... <sighs> yeah, this game, this game is so over. Interesting switch there. Let's just see how much damage we can get. I do have Sturdy, so at least I'll be staying alive for a bit longer. 
though I don't like the sus accuracy of Stone Edge. And that's why. Now he's got a sunset up. Didn't take me out. Okay. So we got two to four. It's it's not doable, but it could be doable in some other universe. And boy, this hair across is a pain to deal with. And it's over. Not my finest hour. Let's just leave real quick. Uh, pretend that didn't happen. And we will do one more quick battle here. Do not like that. switch now I do I do like the more fast-paced battles so okay okay well it was a fast-paced battle I'll say that but what I was gonna say is I do like the fast-paced battles so I may not be thinking as much as I should, but uh, apparently, as soon as this guy sees Latias, he uh, he knows there's no way he can win because Latias is just way too strong. So I guess we can fit one more battle in here. Now, this, I'm feeling good about this one. We gotta go away 2-2. Two, two. We just got a 1. We just gotta win by default. I mean, I would've won that one anyway for sure, but we gotta get one more win. We gotta at least come out with a 50% win rate for tonight. Or else, am I even a Pokemon player? Alright, boys. Let's hope for a good, uh, good start. Explode, I like it. Okay. So Shaman is pretty fast, but if he doesn't expect the Fire Blast, I could get a lot of damage here. Ooh, okay, okay. Now that's good, and I'm faster than him too. That's a good start. Nice, clean. Let's go. Let's go. I feel it. This is going to be a sweep. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, he's got a life orb. Okay. That'll make it easier to take him out. Ooh, and we missed the fire blast. That's not good. Uh, we'll just leave him in here. There we go. One for one. And we took a bit of HP off there as well from all his life orb uses. Now what can we do? We got Yuxi, I like Yuxi. Um think that What would be a good one to go with? So Crobat will be faster. So we could go for that. I'm not sure what moves Krugly would normally run. So far I only see two normal types. I don't expect Ugly to have a attack that's super effective against Crobat. Interesting. Well, that's kind of annoying. Let's see, what do we got here? I thought Vespicon was tankier than that. Oh well. I'm just gonna sit here and roost so that she takes herself out with the life orb. That'll be fun. See, I always love strategies like this, where you use 
use the enemy's own choices against them, in a way. Uh, I feel like I'd go for a read here. If he goes for the return, then I should go for the roost, because he'll be killing himself. But I feel like he's going to see what I've already done. Let's just go for the attack. There we go. And he forgot about the sleep clause, which is... Honestly, that's kind of why I switched out, because I forget about the sleep clause sometimes, too. Um, for those of you who don't know, for some reason on Smogon, there's a sleep clause where the game literally doesn't let you put two of your opponent's Pokemon to sleep at once. So as soon as I went to sleep on Crobat, I switched out so that he can't make any of my other Pokemon go to sleep. Honestly, I'm not a fan of that rule because it kind of changes how the game works. Like, I feel like the way it should be implemented it is it shouldn't allow you to choose a move that puts them to sleep, but instead it makes the move fail, which... That's not how Pokemon is programmed. It doesn't really make sense to me. I don't like it. But, uh, enough rambling here. I am assuming he's going to go for Thunderbolt or something. Discharge. Okay. So we know what he's thinking of. We can go for the Toxic, because I know Stunfisk is pretty tanky. And if I go for another Protect, Toxic stall him out then I will be able to live his next discharge, I believe, and then I can go for the roost. Oh, even better. I won't even be super affected by it. Oh, I am paralyzed though. All right, let's just keep going for the roost. Stall him out. I like this set. I like these stall type sets. It's not the most, uh, I guess you can't really say it's the most honorable playstyle, but it is kind of... I am a bit of a troll, you might say. So I do I do enjoy going for the troll-type gameplay styles. Ooh, and we got a rest here. So... Huh. This could be annoying. I'm just going to go for the switch to Terrakion. I kind of want to just take him out with Earthquake. Don't paralyze, please. Thank you. Could go for the Swords Dance setup. Hopefully he doesn't go for another Discharge here. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, yikes. We're gonna take him out, though, hopefully. If I don't take him out, this is really bad. Okay, there we go. Oh, but the life orb took me out. Okay, okay. I got a sleeping crowbat and a paralyzed Vespa coin. Oh boy. Alright. Depending on what he sends out, I'm going to set up the light screen. Hold on. No, let's get a thunder wave on this crowbat. I don't want him going. You know, I don't want him flying around at the speed of sound. Okay, the switch. Man, Thunder Wave is such a good move. Okay, set up that light screen. I think Shaman's a special attacker. I'm not really sure off the top of my head. It was correct, and he didn't know I had Levitate. Okay, that's something. Now let's just uh, take him out. Nice crit there. Speed up his inevitable demise. Oh boy, Yuxi is tanky. Okay, this game's looking good. It's looking a lot better for us today. Did get a bit lucky with uh, two legendaries. And Yuxi being as tanky as she is, is quite good as well. Let's get that Thunder Wave out. Even with a crit, he's doing basically nothing. Alright, let's set up that light screen since I go first now. Beautiful, beautiful. Looks like the game's over. Unless he has a secret trump card up his sleeve, which could be the case. Ah, looks like this Crobat set is quite different from mine. He's got quite a, a lot of different moves here. 
One more Pokemon. Will he be able to pull this win out of the blue? And it looks like probably not. But he may be able to one-shot me with that pure power, depending on his moveset. I'll just get the yawn on him. Since he can't even switch out, it'll put him to sleep. That'll be nice. I have a lot of Pokemon left. Okay, that did quite a bit less than I was expecting. Now, who will be able to take him out the fastest? I don't really have any good offensive Pokemon. I guess I got a choice specs here. So now he's sleeping, things are looking good. And he forfeits. And he gives me the GG, so I'm gonna give him the GGG. So, that was pretty fun. We played four good games. Uh, first one was really close. I definitely could have clutched that one out if I was if I was thinking a little bit more. Uh, this was definitely a good game. I ended off with four Pokemon. Um, and I'm going to be playing a lot more of this, my boys. I gotta say, this has been very fun. I like this random battle style thing because it's all about the skill and the adaptability. This is the kind of game that I'm really into. Now, of course, I love Pokemon in general, and I love the team building aspect, but I have to recognize that I'm not the greatest at team building, and I, I don't really know the meta that well. There's just too many Pokemon for me. And on top of that, I can't even really play the new... Uh, the new game's metas anyway, because I don't really understand the new mechanics anymore. I'm not a big fan of the uh, Dynamax and all that stuff from the new gen, so that's why I've been playing uh, Gen 5, because Gen 5 is... I feel like Gen 5 was the best competitive gen for me. Once they introduced Mega Evolution and stuff, I feel like things became a bit more unstable in the competitive scene. I know some people are going to disagree with me, but I just like... I feel like the the balancing and structure of Gen 5 was basically perfect. So we'll be playing a lot more Gen 5 random battle, even though there's probably a lot less people playing this. It did take longer to find some of these matches than I expected. But yeah, that was some Gen 5 random battles. It was very fun. Let me know what you think. I might do more of these on uh, on video. And I'll see you guys next time.